Hello boys and girls, today here we are here with Miki, our best Slovenia player. Uh, Miki, hello, how is in Germany? Everything okay there? Hello, um, yeah, everything is pretty nice so far. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, thanks you for uh, joining us in this not the best uh, situations at the moment uh, for us to meet uh, uh, via online. We were hopefully hoping to get uh, in the LEC studio, but unfortunately we cannot get there. So no. we need to do this uh, the old style way versus a webcam on the internet. So uh, yeah, let's jump into the questions we have prepared for you today. And uh, we need to start with the G2. It was not the best split from the start. Uh, it's not what we were expecting. But in the last three weeks, especially in the last week, let's say the super week, you were starting to perform as we expected from you. Uh, did you fix your problems? And uh, can we see the G2 we wanted to see in the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, in the recent weeks, the difference between the start of the split was we could, we could actually scrim because, well, we didn't really get to scrim much due to unfortunate circumstances at the start of the split. Um, but after we actually started scrimming and just discussing, like preparing better for our opponents, then it became much easier to to win, I guess. And I think yeah, for playoffs, you can can probably expect us to probably win it all. So yeah. So back to smashing everybody new. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> but uh, the summer split was a bit different from the usual one. It was played from home. Uh, do you think some teams uh, had some advantage with this? Because like players were not used to the pro scene, like a big stage, if we can call it a big stage, the LEC stage. And uh, do you prefer to play at home or would you rather uh, play at the LEC studio? Um, yeah, so I think it's been weird playing from home. And I do think a lot of teams benefit from it, especially teams with like kind of rookies, I guess, or teams that don't have best of five experience, especially. Like I think Mad Lions, Rogue, Schalke are some of the teams that probably perform better online than they would on stage. Um, and I think for teams like us and Fnatic, it's better to play on stage. I think, yeah, just the older the players are or more experienced, I think the, they prefer playing on stage because, I don't know, just like a different atmosphere and you get more into the game, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would for sure prefer to play in the studio if we could. Well, let's hope you return there as fast as possible. But uh, the first confirmed one was uh, playing in the studio will be in China. So the worlds are confirmed. They will be in China, but not according to the plans we had at the start. Uh, are you happy that Riot is doing everything possible to make these worlds happen? And do you think all three Slovenian players can make it there maybe? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy that everything didn't get cancelled. Like, because MSI got cancelled, which I was not too happy with because that meant that spring split was absolutely useless um so yeah i'm kind of happy that it's happening even though there's gonna be probably yeah a lot of weird like just it's gonna be a lot different than the previous world's experiences that i had i guess um and i think yeah i mean it's maybe hard for all three slovenian players to make it i have a crown shot and nemesis uh because the rogue is already in i think we're gonna make it I think then it's between Mad Lions, Schalke, SK, Fnatic. I mean, I think Fnatic can probably pick it up. I'm not too sure about SK, so Crouch might have to sit this one out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think all teams are like kind of similar in skill, so they might as well pull it off. I, I believe in them, and I hope they can do it. Yeah. Well, maybe the power of the new rap video will give some power to Crownshot and you. Nemesis didn't get yeah. there, and, uh, <laughs> maybe that will be the difference at the end. We'll see. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was searching with uh, some old interviews you did uh, with Red Bull last year, and uh, you said specifically, we will destroy LEC and win Worlds this year. <laughs> uh, the first part of this statement didn't go as planned, but do you think you can still make it the, uh, all the way at Worlds? Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I think we could potentially destroy everyone if, well if we could actually scrim from the start of the split because I think most teams were actually not great. I think it was mostly just about who could draft better and yeah, we weren't really prepared much because we couldn't really test champions. We didn't, weren't really prepared for like, I guess, how the meta changed um, with the souls and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, wait, what was the second part of the question? 
Uh, do you think you can? Of Academy Worlds? Yeah. I mean, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, I mean, I guess LPL and LCK look pretty good, but I think we can ramp it up for like playoffs and Worlds. And yeah, I think this time around we will take it because, well, last year I think we just kind of burnt out because we weren't really we didn't really know how to handle like being uh, like somewhere else in like hotel rooms for like two months or something mm -hmm. but i think now we might have a better idea of what to do and maybe just do more team activities and stuff like that instead of just playing solo key 24 7 because you don't really get better i feel like like after after a certain point so yeah i think we can do better and probably win it yeah I mean, and you get the best stage to get a revenge versus a Chinese team at their home crowd. And I think it's yeah. the best spot to get that win. And talking about LPL and LCK, do you think the gap between EU and uh, China is the same as last year? Or do you think uh, any other teams are at the moment the strongest in the world? Um, I mean, there's still a gap between LPL and uh, LEC, at least. Like, I don't think LEC is that good compared to LPL. I think a lot of teams there are really good. But here it's like, yeah, I mean, I think Rogue is fine, Midlands is fine, I think we're fine. No one's really like good, you know, so I mean, I think we can get much better when playoffs comes around and, and we get to scrim international teams. But so far I would say that yeah, there's quite a gap between LPL and us. Well, let's hope you do better than just fine at the end of these playoffs and then at once. Yeah. I mean, we are talking as you are already there, but let's say you need to go through these playoffs and win some games to get there. Everybody's counting on G2, all the Europe, and everyone is counting on you. But uh, let's not talk about from uh, your roots from Slovenia a bit. Uh, before you joined Splice, uh, you were winning tournaments in Slovenia left and right. Uh, do you have any good memories from those days? And uh, would you like to attend uh, like some events with the OG squad here? <laughs> I mean, definitely there's like a lot of really nice memories that I have from playing at LAN events. Like I remember my first LAN event that was Radioactive 4, I think, and I was playing with Crown Shot in the, uh, in the same team. And I was playing against Nemesis, so that was fun, even though we got third, I think. Um, and then the Off Blast, so that's 2017 or something, actually, no, 2015. And then I was playing with Hyper, which is Nemesis' brother. Uh, Got third again. <laughs> Actually, I was like, always oh, third. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of bad. Yeah, um, then you got Nemesis for the yeah. in Ljubljana, if I remember right. And yeah. with Foxy, I think. At some point, I was playing with Foxy, Nemesis. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was like a bit too easy. So then, I mean, honestly, if we wanted to, we could make a two team that would win every single tournament. Like back when Kicked was like also playing a lot. Mm -hmm. Like team with me, Nemesis, Kicked, Crown Shot is like unlosable. But then it felt like it would be too boring and people actually wouldn't want to play because people would just be like, yeah, what, what, who really cares? You know, they're going to win anyway. So yeah. might as well not. I mean, I can apply, confirm that I, I was casting those games. And yeah. I just, uh, what is this watching like G2 versus a third league in <laughs> Germany squad or something? Uh, so, yeah, basically, yeah. it was uh, one way road for you guys. And uh, a start for career, like you were already proving yourself at the world grounds, but like Foxy got in the <laughs> Nemesis and uh, all the Crown Shot and others joined the L LCS at that time. And uh, we can say we have a lot of good players in Slovenia, especially yeah. uh, from numbers of Slovenians, uh, like 2 million people. And we have more than three uh, pro players that are like living from this. We can really be at the top of this uh, esports, especially in Europe. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. And I also like I would be down to like just i guess get the, the squad back together and stomp some noobs <laughs> i mean it's time to make we'll an all-star event uh, in slovenia <laughs> when there is a break maybe maybe yeah. next year msi if they cancel it we make it an all-star event here slovenia versus croatia or something like that oh shit i think they would get stomped <laughs> i mean probably perks will just watch you please mickey help me please feed sure, bots yeah. so get some kills but yeah, uh, thank you for this uh, awesome interview and for the end, uh, we can say since you and other pro players from Slovenia started making big impact in the esports scene, uh, Slovenia media started to cover more of the esport seriously taking it and uh, people here are starting to understand that it's not just a game. Now we are opening uh, a first esport uh, bar and streaming studio with uh, computers and other gaming gear in it. So uh, thanks to you, we are representing uh, Slovenia and bringing 
esports closer to everyone and we hope we can host you in uh, one of our events or maybe in this studio soon when you come back in our hq yeah definitely a possibility yeah. i would love to check it out <laughs> well good luck in the playoffs and uh, we hope to see you in the final stage of the world this year thank you